This afternoon, we're up here, uh, 6th November. As you can see, uh, I'm on a bit of a high point up here. Uh, farmer's only disc the top. You can see uh, there's not much uh, to be had up here, but there's a little bit of a Roman settlement on here. You can just make out the lumps and bumps. Using the gold marks again this afternoon, but I've got a... As you can probably hear, I've just detected this Roman coin. It's uh, been on here an hour, and it's the only one I've had. Uh, there's reasonable, a reasonable Roman coin for you. Uh, we're right amongst all the pot here. The soil's a bit darker. You can just see the by the by the head there. There's a piece of. Uh, let me get that. <clears throat> cool, there's a big piece of uh, probably about four century part of a jug uh, rim. Uh, been heavily detected this site. I mean, you're lucky to get any signals on here now, but um, it's getting late, and it looks like I have it uh, after an hour. I've managed to find a half decent coin, so we get this one back, and we're going to stay till late. And uh, if there's anything else to be found, we'll uh, share it with you a bit later. So uh, um, unless anything else comes up before it gets too late, I'll uh, crack on. But say the settings on the gold max. Uh, Pretty uh, got it stoked up today because um, an awful lot of iron, but uh, the gold marks is coping brilliantly. Uh, we'll get back to you later. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I don't know what you can see. Uh, got a couple of own coins up here this afternoon, nothing uh, major, but it looks like I got a brooch here. Uh, God, it's had a bit of a bashing. It looks like a uh, Quite an early one, but it's uh, got a, um, got a real good kink in it. Uh, looks a bit like a hook, but it's definitely a brooch. Um, we'll take it back because it's getting darker. We'll uh, we'll stay till late, and um, I think we'll probably get a few more bits before we go home. So keep our fingers crossed. There's another uh, nice deep Roman coin. This is probably the fifth of the day. I've just had a small minute. There you go. Just on the edge of the hole there, look. Tough going up here this afternoon. As you can see, the old sunset's already gone down and it's getting pretty bleak out here now, so video quality's not going to be very good, but there you are, another Roman. Getting back, can't see what it is, but we'll clean him up. Thank you. The first of the coins uh, that come out of that uh, field this afternoon is probably the best one. This is a, a Roman third century coin of uh, probably Antonius uh, been a bit nibbled there but as you can see it's got quite a good bust on him and uh, two figures there um, the second coin that came out still got a bit of a bust on which I think uh, probably shows Valens uh, got a few chunks taken out of him but as you can see there's a Coins are very few and far between on that field. And the third coin of the day was a was a little barbarous radiate, which would be third, fourth century, as you can see. It's a, it's a sort of a minimum it's a, it's a bit of a minimalist little coin really and um you can sort of like make out a bit of a bust there and a few layers, but as I say it's a very barbarous coin. The brooch was a, I'm not sure what period that would be, but it's a very basic one. It's been bent uh, quite badly in the soil and would, um, I would imagine that's probably contemporary with the coins, probably third century and uh, very, very basic in design, but um, all the same. You've got our avals there, you know, no silver this time, nothing to trouble the corner, but... Um, well, try a better look next time. Thank you.